On June 6, I uploaded this video revealing my plan to make 10K per month with Microsoft Excel. And in this video, I'm gonna provide you with a two week update. So if you wanna learn how you can make money with boring old Excel, if you want to follow my journey, make sure you watch this entire video. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you wanna be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country and I'll get you pinned. All right, so as I mentioned, about two weeks ago, I uploaded a video talking about how I was gonna make 10K per month with Microsoft Excel. You might be wondering, why am I doing this? I'm doing this for a few reasons. One, to open up a brand new revenue stream. Two, to show you that you can make money online without having to teach and tell people how to make money online. And quite frankly, if this goes the way that I want it to go, I'll probably create some sort of course or membership around it so I can help people achieve the same thing. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to reveal my progress just after two weeks. I'm going to show you my TikTok account that I'm doing this on. I'm going to just give you everything so that you can see exactly what I'm doing and how you could potentially do it too. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a few different things. One, I am building traffic organically through TikTok and I'm actually running paid ads to a very stupid, simple landing page and sales page, which I'll show you in just a minute. First, how did I get the idea for my TikTok videos? Very simple. What I did is I opened up my TikTok app and I just searched Microsoft Excel and I found all of the videos that are doing well in the channel. Some are getting hundreds of thousands of views. Some of them are getting tens of thousands of views and I decided I was going to recreate those exact same videos. I am recreating two videos per day. I'm uploading one in the morning and one in the afternoon. They follow basically a similar hook but I'm adding my own spin to it and they're getting results. So let's go ahead and take a look at this TikTok account. In the past week or so I've gained close to 100 followers just talking about Excel. You can see some of these videos are doing very well. Uh, some of them are getting 600 views. Some of them are getting 400 views, which is pretty good for a brand new account. And I'm talking about something as boring as Microsoft Excel. So what I'm doing, as I mentioned, is I've got a list. Every time I come across a TikTok video that has a bunch of views about Microsoft Excel, I copy the link to the video and I put it in a Google Sheet. And then I have a whole list. I go back in and I sort it by likes. Actually, let me show you that real quick. So here are my list of Excel videos. As you can see, some of them are got have generated 5 million likes. Um, they're a little bit older, obviously. Some of them have generated tens of thousands of likes. I simply will watch the video, recreate it in my own way. I'm actually using, like I am a employee of the TV show, The Office. So that's kind of my spin on it. And I'm simply just remaking these videos. And as you can see, I'm doing about two a day. Some of these are getting pretty decent views, which I'm really excited about. The other thing that I did is I actually went and bought a separate domain name and I've attached the domain name to my sales page, which I'll show you in just a moment. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm running Facebook ads. Now you might be wondering, how did I come up with the ad ideas? And the ad ideas are simple. Whatever whatever video is doing well is what I'm taking and making into a Facebook ad. Because it's vertical, it actually shows up kind of like it is an organic post. And so people are seeing it, they're engaging with it, and they're actually buying, which I'll show you in just a moment, which is really, really cool. So that is basically the process. I identify videos that have already done well. I'm recreating them in my own way, in my own image, my own narrative, and I'm simply uploading two videos per day. I could eventually upload it, change it to three, but right now two videos per day is all that I have bandwidth for. So, and like I mentioned, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm actually running Facebook ads, which is really cool. Uh, let me just show you real quick the ad targeting that I'm using so that you could potentially get some ideas. I'm going to quickly run through a Facebook ad that I'm doing just so that you can see what it looks like. And at the end of this video, I'll reveal how many sales I've made and my plan going forward. So what I do is I do a, a sales campaign and I optimize it for purchases. I do a manual sales campaign, click continue. And the thing that's really important to me, I'm only running this at $20 per day. I'm using the advantage campaign budget for $20 per day, only $20 per day. Someone mentioned to me that in my original video that I would need to spend more than $20 per day, but I'm not and I'm making money, which is really cool. The next step is I'm actually doing worldwide targeting. I'm optimizing for sales and I've got a unique Facebook pixel for Microsoft Excel. Optimizing for purchase like that. And then if I scroll down here, I am targeting worldwide. So my targeting is everybody. And the reason being is because everybody uses Microsoft Excel, which is really cool. And so the other cool thing that I'm doing is I'm coming down to where it says advantage plus audience. I switch this to the original audience and I am targeting people that have expressed interest in Microsoft Excel. So I just go in here and I'll type in micro 
Microsoft Excel like this. And then also I look at the suggestions. I'll grab the other ones that are suggested and I'll just click on a bunch of them just to broaden the opportunity. So Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Office. I also do spreadsheets right here like that. And then this is a lot of people. And so the chances of me finding people that are going to be interested and make a purchase is pretty high. The initial original product right now is $17 one time charge. I also have an order bump of a cheat sheet that I had my virtual assistant put together. And then I do have an upsell right now, which are templates done for you templates. I'm planning on adding another upsell later, which is going to be more of an extensive Microsoft Excel course. I haven't finished that yet. And I haven't even finished the main product yet. And it's already making sales. So this is essentially the process. I've got the free traffic going. I've got the paid traffic going. They're both working as expected. It's actually working a little bit faster than I expected. I started my paid ads two days ago. So Sunday, I believe is when I Sunday midday is when I started my paid ads at $20 per day. So let me show you first, I'll show you how much I'm spending, how many sales I've made with paid ads and how much I'm making. As I mentioned, I'm spending $20 per day. I've spent a total of $38 and the cost per purchase is $19. This is really important to know. And if we actually take a closer look into this ad, it looks like the sales are coming from one specific ad. So what I could do is I could optimize and I'll probably do this at the end of the week. I could optimize where I remove all of the ads that are not generating sales. And you can see that this one ad, which is responsible for two purchases, both of my purchases, it's only $7 and 15 cents per sale. So in theory, what I could do is I could turn off the other ones that aren't working, aren't performing. And I should in theory, get more sales. This cost per purchase will probably go up, but it will still be worth it. So if we go back here, like I mentioned, the cost per result is $19 per sale or per purchase. And I am spending on, as I mentioned, $38, I think, but the two sales have generated me $56 because both people have taken the order bump. Order bumps are really important. So if we did the math, I have spent $38 right there, as you can see, and I have made 56. So if we look at that, I'm just going to do $38 minus 56. I have made $18. So I could start putting more money into this ad because I'm basically very close to making $2 for every $1 I put in. The reason why I'm showing you this journey is that it is possible to make money with things outside of teaching people how to make money. There are literally millions of people that want to learn Microsoft Excel. There are millions of people, maybe hundreds of thousands of people that are willing to pay to learn Microsoft Excel and not just Microsoft Excel, it's other software out there. Software that can help people save time, save money, or make money is going to be popular. And you can do this too with Canva, like I showed you a few days ago with Microsoft Excel, with AutoCAD, all sorts of stuff out there you could do this for. So let's talk about my plan going for my plan going forward, what I might do today or tomorrow, I might duplicate the ad that I'm currently running and remove all of the ads that aren't performing and just keep the one that is performing well to see if I can generate more sales. So more people are seeing this one ad. I might also go back and download the videos of the new ads and add those in constantly testing to figure out what's working well. Obviously, if I'm putting in $2 and getting a dollar back, I want to spend more money up front because if I spend $100 and I make $200 back or 250 back, that means I am making money. It's all about scaling at this point, testing and finding different ads. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I can make it to 10 grand. If you think I can make it to 10 grand per month, how quickly do you think it'll take me? Do you think I could do this organically? Uh, let me know what you think down below, but this is really exciting for me because this is something that I've been telling you guys to do. And so I finally just said, screw it. And I did it myself. Now that you've seen this video, uh, watch this video next as it is a free five hour masterclass on how to monetize your social media following.